Hello friends and fellow bibliophiles, welcome back to Cat's Novel Adventures. In today's video, I want to share with you a readathon that I will be co-hosting in January and February, and I want to invite you to participate with me. Mardi Gras Mambo 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 Mardi Gras Mambo 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 Mardi Gras Mambo Down in New Orleans You know it. If I have an opportunity to sing, I'm going to take it because I love to sing. And in New Orleans, any opportunity for a party, it's going to happen there because New Orleans is known as a party city. And Mardi Gras is one of the biggest parties in New Orleans. And that is what I'm going to be co-hosting, the Mardi Gras Readathon, with my lovely friend Lori of Books, Ink, and Paper. She and I are both from the New Orleans area. I currently live about an hour away from New Orleans, and I do visit quite often because I have friends and family that still live on the South Shore. When Lori asked me if I wanted to co-host this year with her, I said, of course, yes, I would love that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This will be the second year that Lori is hosting it. She created it and hosted it for the first time last year. And we have become friends over the last few months. And because we have so much in common, in addition to New Orleans and Mardi Gras, that's the reason she asked. And I'm so glad and happy. It was quite a happiness boost to get that invitation to do that. So today I just want to share the details of the marathon, the marathon, the readathon, and see if you'd be interested in participating with Lori and me. For those of you that don't know, Mardi Gras is a huge deal in New Orleans as well as along the Gulf Coast. And it is a big celebration that actually takes place on one day, which is Mardi Gras Day or Fat Tuesday. However, there is an entire Mardi Gras season that leads up to that big day. And it starts actually on King's Day, which is January the 6th. The Mardi Gras Readathon will start on Saturday, January the 13th, a week after the Mardi Gras season begins. We will host live sprints to kick it all off. There are nine prompts, including a bonus prompt plus a group read. However, the Mardi Gras Readathon is flexible. Read one book and you have participated. For those of you that enjoy prompts, we have created a bingo board, which I will put in the Discord on my channel, Cats and Novel Adventures. You can check that Discord out in the description box below. And for this readathon, you can double dip, multi dip, read fiction, nonfiction. You could even read picture books. You could read a middle grade book or YA. In fact, if you want to read a short story, you can. The fact of the matter is, we just want you to participate. We want you to join us on this adventure during the Mardi Gras season. Let's go over the prompts. The first one is read a book about royalty. Number two is read a book set on the Gulf Coast. Number three is read a book about cake or with cake in the title. Number four is read a book set in France. Number five, read a book about a ball or elegant event. Number six, read a book that centers around music. Number seven, read a book related to or about food. Number eight, read a book about a crew or a group of friends. And number nine is to read a book set in New Orleans. The bonus prompt is to read a book with purple, gold, silver, deep red, blue, orange, or vibrant green, or all of those together on the cover. All of the prompts that I've just um, shared with you will be in the description box below. And as you can see, you will be able to find a book or some stories that where you could double dip and even, in fact, if you think about it, New Orleans is on the Gulf Coast, so if you read a book in New Orleans, it could also count for a set on the Gulf Coast. 
And then for the group read, we do have a book called New Orleans Morning by Julie Smith. And I'm going to read you what this book is about. It's Mardi Gras in New Orleans. And civic leader and socialite Chauncey Saint-Amant has been crowned Rex of Carnival. But his days of glory comes to an abrupt and bloody end when a parade goer, dressed as Dolly Parton, guns him down. Is the killer his aimless, promiscuous daughter, Marcel? Homosexual, mistreated son, Henry? Helpless, alcoholic wife, Biddy? Or some unknown player? Turns out the king had enemies. Enter resourceful heroine Skip Langdon, a rookie police officer and former debutante turned cynic of the uptown crowd. Scouring the streets for clues, interviewing revelers and street people with names like Jojo, Hinky, and Cookie, and using her white glove contacts, the post-deb rebel cop encounters a tangled web of brooding clues and ancient secrets that could mean danger for her and doom for the Santa Monts. So this is a mystery thriller. It takes place in New Orleans. So if you decide to do the group read, you'll probably be able to check off a lot of the prompts if you want to participate that way. Or you could just read the group read and that would be your participation. But it is also the first book in a series. Live discussion of the group read will actually be on the last day of the marathon, which is Tuesday, February 13th, which also happens to be Mardi Gras Day. Thanks everyone for stopping by to get all the details about the Mardi Gras Readathon that will be rolling out on January the 13th. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on joining Lori and me for some reading fun during the carnival season. Everything that I talked about today will be listed in the description box below, including a link to Lori's channel, Books, Ink, and Paper. Please check her channel out. She's a lovely person and she has some wonderful content. And as always, I appreciate you watching. And until our paths cross again, stay amazing and be adventurous. And as they say in New Orleans, laissez les bons temps rouler. Let the good times roll.